Hi everybody and happy video Monday. Today's topic is fiber. So I've noticed from my discussions with my clients that the topic of fiber is really confusing to people. So for this video I want to try to clarify fiber related matters the best I can. So why do we need fiber first of all? Basically Fiber is really important in our diets for optimal digestion and assimilation of nutrients, absorption of nutrients. It helps us to maintain healthy cholesterol levels, healthy blood sugar as it slows um, the digestion of our food in our stomach. It also is really important for feeling full, so for weight loss. So we need fiber. If you're eating a diet that is really rich, for example, in animal-based foods, if you're eating a really low-carb diet, for example, you know, eating lots of meats and dairy, um, maybe eggs, cheese, whatever, these, this type of diet would, would not really bring that much fiber. So that person would probably have to add a supplement to their diet, a fiber supplement, um, in addition to eating, you know, some, some vegetables or something. But generally, what I want to say to you, because again, you might start to become paranoid about which type of fiber you need and am I getting enough of each type. Most plant-based foods, nuts, seeds, grains, vegetables, legumes, fruits, most of these foods, actually all of these foods, are fiber-rich foods. Most of them also contain both types. Now, that said, sometimes we are choosing certain foods that contain more of one type than the other, or if we're eating a really uh, unvaried diet, so if we're eating the same foods all the time, then you could end up with a situation where you need more of the other type of fiber and you're just not getting it. If, for example, you're eating just lots of vegetables and juicy fruits um, and not really many starches and grains and that kind of thing, then you might need a little bit more of what I'm going to describe to you as a bulking fiber. So basically, we have two types of fiber. Soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. Think of soluble fiber as being um, what attracts the fluid into your colon, attracts the water, it, it uh, breaks down, okay? Insoluble fiber doesn't break down. It provides the bulk. So I'm going to call the insoluble fiber the bulking fiber and the soluble fiber the broom. So you need the bulk and then you need the broom to sweep through the bulk. Okay? I hope this isn't so confusing. It's a very confusing topic. So we need both types of fiber. If you're eating a varied plant-based diet, you're probably getting both. If you aren't going to the bathroom regularly, if you're constipated, I'm going to say that you probably need more insoluble fiber. You probably need something to give you that bulk, okay, to, to keep things moving regularly. Now, if you add insoluble fiber to your diet, whatever source it may come from, you also need to make sure that you increase your water consumption. So whatever type of fiber you're eating, whenever you increase fiber, you need to increase water too. So make sure you definitely do that. A great way to just set this a little bit aside from your mind, eat a lot of plant-based foods, eat a lot of variety, but also incorporate chia and flax into your diet, one or the other or both. These fibers are rich in both types. So it's an easy thing you can sprinkle to your food, you get your omega-3 at the same time, and on top of everything else that you're doing, you can just kind of make sure that, yeah, I'm getting both types in there. So the other thing I wanna say about chia and flax is that one is drying and the other is not really drying. So chia absorbs water and flax is quite dry. So you may benefit or feel better using one or the other. So that's good to experiment with. I personally feel much better using chia in my diet than I do flax and that just is because 
staying heart hydrated is like a part-time job with me because I teach hot yoga, so I'm sweating a lot every single day. But other people, flax might be just fine. But for me, the chia seems to work better. It seems to aid that hydration a little bit better. It, it, it adds moisture at the same time. So you have to play with what works for you. But the best thing is to include a variety of fibers. If you're finding that your digestion is irregular, I would say you need more of that bulk. So it might come from a supplement like psyllium, which I don't really recommend as well um, as much, but psyllium would be an example of that. A fiber supplement is generally really rich in insoluble fiber, but also the chia, the flax, these kinds of things, so the bulking stuff. One more thing I want to say about this, insoluble fiber is sort of like the, the outer the outer part of the food, like um, if you take an apple, the inside of the apple would be the soluble fiber, the outside would be the skin, um, and that would be the insoluble fiber. So the insoluble part doesn't really break down the skin, whereas the inside does. So this is a way to think of it. Insoluble doesn't break down, soluble breaks down. Soluble, lots of water, insoluble, bulk, usually, you know, a little bit drier. So. Again, for sure this is confusing. I know I've said this a few times already. Eat a variety, a varied diet, lots of plant-based foods, add some flax or chia or both to your diet every day and chances are, and you know, drink lots of water and uh, chances are you'll find that your digestion regulates just, just fine. If you have a problem beyond that, you can always send me a message or we could do a consultation sometimes. For individuals, there's some troubleshooting that needs to happen further than those basics. But those are the basic things. And I sure hope that helps to clarify um, the matters of fiber a little bit for you. I hope you have a wonderful week, you guys. Please, um, in the next couple weeks, visit my Facebook page often, Tisha Mahar and the Home of Living Live. There's going to be lots of exciting news um, being posted on there, some things, some um, future projects that I'm working on, and also um, a new ebook that's going to be coming out for the new year. So please check in with that or for that, and um, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>